Oh, Columbus. You make Dado so proud. Hello everybody, I'm Garrelus64 and welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Mods. I think we did one before. Maybe just one, I don't remember. I, I know I did the whole modded live stream of the game, and that's where we met our, uh, our Chow Glumbus that evolved in the intro there. Uh, I kind of felt bad that that never happened during the stream, but today we're checking out the Holiday Costumes mod for all of our favorite characters. We're going to st start off in City Escape because... It's been quite a long time since I've played it, and as you can see, Sonic's looking a little bit more orange than usual. Of course, these don't alter the game all that much, but I still felt like they were, you know, just a fun idea to touch on for Halloween. Plus, the mod just came out, and, you know, you might want to check it out. And also has the Christmas costumes. So, you know, you can bust this out a second time at Christmas. But yeah, no, Sonic rocks this, like... He's just wearing pumpkin armor, almost. It's like he's in an RPG that's centered around Halloween. I, I love that. It's so stupid. Like, why? <laughs> he's just got a full pumpkin on his chest. Like, did he hollow it out and step inside it? Like, he's some kind of, like, backward Cinderella, like... <laughs> and then, the mask. Don't get me started on the mask. You thought Sora, Donald, and Goofy were the only ones who dressed up for Halloween? Well, Sonic and friends kind of like to get together and look stupid as well, so... We're gonna be checking out a few levels with all of the Halloween costumes, and uh, it's not gonna be the longest of long times, because, you know, Sonic Adventure 2 is a pretty quick game. You know, that makes it sound like it's gonna be a full playthrough, which it's not. Ow. For some reason in the Steam version, that sound is just way too loud. I know it's not gonna be that loud for you guys, but, uh, you know. Let me see if I can get a better look at this over here. A little bit. Oh my goodness, it also looks like he's crammed himself into a basketball, kinda. <laughs> oh man, how does that mask work? He looks like he could be a Power Ranger or something, a Power Rangers villain. The costume is cheesy enough for that, right? <laughs> oh man. It's been a very long time since I've played, played SA2. I'm kind of happy to be back playing it. It's, it's a fun game. I don't like it as much as SA1, but SA2 definitely has some, like, it's got some great times. And I, I think I prefer the Chow Garden in SA2 a little bit more than SA1. But who cares? Maybe someday we'll see a return of the Chow Garden. It'll be better than ever. I'm surprised Sonic is still as agile as usual, even though he's wearing this, this really, you know, obtrusive pumpkin costume. I'm surprised he can move his, move his legs at all. I mean, if you look at it, like, his legs are coming out of the pumpkin, but it's like, can they can they bend correctly? Is he gonna have, like, a killer case of numb leg later? And you know what, now we get to see it nice and close up, because we'll be running towards the camera. <laughs> oh my goodness, if only the sky was, uh, blood red, and, uh, there was no music, and it was, uh... I don't know, it, it was all spooky out. Maybe there were spooky sounds. The truck was going, hee hee hee, Halloween! That'd be really... I don't know if I'd be able to hold myself together at that point. It'd be pretty spooky. That's not at all what I want you to do. I want you to roll, fool! And I guess we're all set with that. <laughs> and show us that lovely costume once again up close, please. Oh boy, your eye is clipping through the mask. Don't like that. Well, I literally hate all of Tails and Eggman's levels, and fortunately, we don't really need to spend too much time on either of them, because, uh, their changes aren't very drastic. Who's the dead man? I, I don't know who it was, but I'm assuming they're done. Uh, there you go. But see, Tails just paints his... He paints the tornado orange and yellow. And then there's a little pumpkin sticker there, kind of like in Kirby Planet Robobot, where you can throw stickers on your mech. That's all there is. Tails doesn't really get into the spirit that much. He's a very smart guy. He thinks holidays are stupid. And, uh, you know, he's eight years old. He doesn't buy into that trick-or-treat crap. He's too old for this. If you thought for a second I was going to pick a different Knuckles level, uh, I'm sorry. But, uh, so here, I probably should have enabled the, uh, disable model upgrades, but 
he's got a little skeleton outfit on, or he just painted himself with skeleton paint, or white paint, because his bones are white, generally. But anyway, yeah, I see it on the back of his legs there, little bones on his tail, and he's even got, like, a nice little thing going on with his chest. And if he didn't have the air necklace on, you could definitely see that his little crest on his chest is almost made out to be, like, a rib. Except, like, it's really funny because he's got, like, the giant crest in the middle, and it looks like it's just one rib. So Knuckles, he, he's not doing so hot. He's lost a lot of ribs in translation. All right, hold on a second. Where? There you are. You can, uh... So you can't hide from me, but your uh, your armed guards there could probably do the job nice and nice and easy. Now, if I fly up here, we can meet the skeleton dog. Here's a great tip. I uh, I didn't know this until I was you know researching to try and get Glumbus to evolve. I wanted him to have his legs back. In the end of the those streams, he didn't have any legs because we gave him a bat. If you give your child with no legs a lot of skeleton dogs, eventually they'll grow their legs back because I guess. The skeleton dogs have some really ridiculous regener uh, regenerative, regenerative properties. There you go. That's the word. And it worked. I uh, I didn't know a lot about Chows, apparently. But I can tell you one thing about Chows. I sat in the Chow Garden for three hours waiting for Glumbus to evolve. And frankly, I'm surprised I didn't get bored and, and leave. But... I, I had a duty. I, I wanted to show the complete metamorphosis of our of our boy Glumbus, and now we're good. Now everyone's happy, right? For those of you who actually remember that stream, Skeleton Knuckles. That's uh, that's all, dude. You, you, valiant effort for the costume. I still think Sonic's was better. All right, Shadow. What did you dress up for for Halloween? Oh. The same thing as Knuckles? Uh, well, you got one more rib than he does. That's cool. And Shadow doesn't even have anything painted on his back. He just did his arms, he did his chest and legs. Like, the only person who really has spirit for the holidays these days is Sonic. And you know what, I'm not surprised because he's always so gung-ho about everything. Uh, you know, Shadow really doesn't surprise me because he's... He's like the opposite of Gung Ho. I don't even know what you would call that. A stick in the mud, the Grinch. He's the Halloween Grinch. All right, let's see that closer up. Beautiful. I got. I mean, it is really simple, but I do really like the the little touch of it. It's kind of nice. And you can see the bones from the back if you look at his arms. And you know what? He's a he's a darker color than Sonic. So if you stood him against a pitch black wall, perhaps. You might just see the skeleton, and that would be pretty spooky, guys, I'm not gonna lie. There you go. Nice close-up. Though, I gotta say, Shadow, skeletons don't have chest fur, so that might be the one flaw you probably should have shaved. Commit to your costume, dude. Only rolls around once a year, as opposed to hedgehogs that roll around all the time. Don't know if this is a great place for us to be able to see the costume in detail, but uh, it this is another costume that goes pretty in depth. She's got a witch hat, and oh dear, forgot about that guy. Hey, listen, don't hate the player, just hate the costume party. That was a really lucky break that the both of the keys were right there. What the heck? Why wasn't I that lucky during the playthrough? What is this? I feel cheated, but anyway, it looks like a safer area. Yeah, so. The costume's, like, completely different. I'm really digging the witch hat. That's a really cool idea. It even, like... I, I assume the same physics that were applied to her ears were used on the hat. And yeah, that thing's coming for me again, isn't it? I hear it. This is like a horror movie. And I guess that means it's very appropriate that I chose this level, am I right? Gamma. If you're not gonna dress up for Halloween, don't even step up to me, okay? You know I love you, but, like... Effort matters. So yeah, this might be... Sonic's is cool, right? I like Sonic's costume. I think Rouge's might be a little bit better. Because, like, it feels like they went even... You know, like, Sonic's, they went the extra mile. I feel like with Rouge's, they went, like, the extra three miles. Maybe the extra four. Also, this level is atrocious, and I totally forgot about how bad it was. But yeah, that's Rouge. And we still got one more Jolly Fool to see. 
Yes, in space, no one can hear you scream! So it's the perfect place to watch horror movies so people don't think you're a sissy. But anyway, Robotnik, again, he just kind of paints his mech a little bit, but I feel like he, 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 he went a little harder than Tails did. He actually painted it to look like a jack-o'-lantern. And then the little, I don't know, like the ankle bracelets down there. I don't know what else to call those, the ankles perhaps. They're orange. No, uh, you know, pumpkin decals, but... This walker design is perfectly suited for space. <laughs> Everybody knows pumpkins survive in space more than a lot of us. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's, that's Dr. Robotnik's design. And if we had to rank these guys in a costume contest, I would say, number one... I'd say, I'd say Rouge. I think her costume was a little bit better than Sonic's. And two would be Sonic. Three, uh... I would say Knuckles and Shadow were tied, because they did literally the exact same thing. Four, we'd have Dr. Eggman. And five, we've got Tails. That's, there are six characters, right? That's, we, that's right, no. The two of them tied, so that's only five places. Tails, you're in last. That's my point. Sorry, dude. Try a little bit harder next time. Don't be a Halloween Grinch. That's Shadow's thing. So anyway, that's gonna be all I wanted to show off for today. If you like this, make sure to go check it out. Link is in the description as usual. And, uh, I don't know. If you're gonna do a playthrough of SA2 this Halloween season, maybe give this a shot. Why not? Add a little bit of spooky flair to the game. So, I'd also like to give a... Did I do the other part of the outro? That's gonna be all for today, so if I like you like this video and you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell, follow my Twitter, and join the Discord to keep up with more Sonic Adventure 2 mods. And other things that aren't Sonic Adventure 2 mods, because I do a lot of things. I'd also like to give a big ol' thank you to my current sponsors, Eggman! Is not one of them. His head is on fire. <laughs> oh no, he's a jack-o'-lantern now for real. Alright, so we've got... Yo, it's Nico, Mitron, Silva PhD in Pain, Stefan R3, Emeralds, God's Right Hand, Game Masters, Draw Bits, Kenneth Gutierrez, TJ McNee, Knuckles Channel 3 and Knuckles, Atlas Requiem, Random Indolent, Henry S, Rob Morrison, Mega Traficone, Creative, and Mike TGC. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring, it really means a lot. If you have any interest in becoming a sponsor yourself, please make sure to check out the link in the description for more information and all the benefits, such as being shouted out at the end of every single video and stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was almost, that was almost an unwanted hug, Artificial Chaos. You gotta watch out with that. And, uh, thank you guys again, even if I already said that, and I'll see you guys next time. You were flying type, not power type. What? Why did you become a power type? You, you're like 20, 20 levels higher. You're 30 levels higher in fly than you are power. Wh why, why is it, you know what, whatever, that's cool. Y you be the you you wanna be, okay? I'm proud of you regardless.